before I take another trip, they say it's a good idea to let you know who I am. Who I am. That's a question for the ages. Hey, yo. At 21, I realized my mother still makes my bed. No, that's not right. At 21, I realized Georgetown University was no place for a young artist. So I took my passion for image making and started my apprenticeship with one of the best known commercial photography studios in Manhattan. I began my studio with a nice diverse book of business. Room sets, still life, people, jewelry. But as the years went by, I found myself specializing in watch photography. Ads, brochures, billboards, web, I did it all. I shot those watches for advertising every single day for the next 35 years. All the while raising five wonderful children with the girl I fell in love with when I was 16 years old. Every chance we got, the seven of us would careen up and down the East Coast from Maine to the Keys and everywhere in between. This was in a 40 foot class A with three slides, two bathrooms, and I was the only one who drove. A funny thing happened. The kids grew up and out and I began to lose all interest in my lawn and property taxes. In fact, I was done with the whole rat race. I was stepping off the hamster wheel. What remained though was a smoldering desire to be free, to move about on my own terms, at my own speed, to do it humbly, quietly, and with compassion for my fellow man and nature. So I began to dabble. I traded my studio cameras for the latest in video. I've got shotgun mics, fluid heads, and power gimbals. I am teaching myself how to write and edit my stories. I never thought I would love a piece of software more than Photoshop, but Premiere has won me over. It's a gazillion photos all in a line. I've begun traveling in my van with only my equipment and ideas to keep me company. Testing the waters, so to speak, for weeks at a time. Van living causes you to live deliberately, focused. You're always in the moment. All those mundane tasks of life are each an event in your day, memorable even. I am intoxicated by the possibilities in which this new direction will take me. Ideas and images are swirling around in my head. I hope I have piqued your interest. 